What's up guys, JNO here, and we are back with Messi and Pep Guardiola to Man City. So let's have a look one year in advance, what happened with Man City and Man United. Did either of them win the Premier Division? Did either of them win the Champs League? Guardiola's already won it with Man United. And did Roberto Martinez win the World Cup with England? What's up guys, JNO here, and welcome to JNO United. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And remember, it's all about the game. Okay, so we can see here that Roberto Martinez is still the England manager. World rankings, England are ranked second in the world, just behind Brazil. Chile a third, with Argentina fourth, and Ukraine coming in fifth, which is surprising. If we have a look at competitions, winner two times, 2018 World Cup. So Roberto Martinez is the secret. He is the man that we need to hire to actually win some trophies again. So if we go to have a look at the World Cup, we can see that the last match played England 1-0 versus Ukraine. So that's why Ukraine are so high in the rankings. The hero of the hour was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who scored one goal and then got injured in the 85th minute, but it was Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's goal that won England the 2018 World Cup final. You know what? Why don't we have a cheeky look at this goal? Okay, so the World Cup winning goal started with a Henderson free kick. Walcott was tackled. It falls back to Henderson. Henderson finds Delhi Alley, who finds Nathaniel Klein on the right, who cuts the ball in, I'm presuming, to Oxlade Chamberlain, who beats the keeper and wins the World Cup for England. Football manager is just so realistic. It really is. At this point in the match, it was 12 shots to 9, 3 on target for both teams. But shall we try and have a look at England's journey to the World Cup final? So it looks like Croatia versus Morocco was the third, fourth playoff game. And Morocco won that. So Morocco came third in the World Cup, second to Ukraine. So the big nations really disappointed in this tournament. So we beat Morocco 2-1 with a Harry Kane and Fia Walcott goal. We beat Italy 2-1 with a Fia Walcott and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain goal. And this is all research for me because... Uh, I'm evolving England at the moment in my other FM series, which you can check out. There'll be an annotation on screen right now. So obviously I need to play Walcott. I need to play Oxlade Chamberlain. Yep, definitely play Fear Walcott because he scored two goals against Australia. And we also beat Russia 2 0. Were we actually undefeated? 3 1 against Algeria, Stone, Sterling, and Rooney. Rooney actually scoring a goal at the World Cup. And we did draw against Mexico, one all, via Walcott with a 90th minute goal. That sounds more like the England I'm used to watching in real life. First game of the World Cup, go behind in the 76th minute, just about claw some points out of the game in the 90th. But anyway, somehow Roberto Martinez can lead England to winning the World Cup final in 2018. Okay, but if we go to the end of 2019 Premier Division season, we can see that Arsenal are the winners of the league with 84 points. Chelsea are second, so the London clubs have got those top two spots, with Man City third, just beating Man United by goal difference, 41 to 35, both teams on 80 points. So at least Premiership wise, Guardiola probably shouldn't have left Man City. But at Man United, he did win the Champions League, whereas Man City haven't won anything yet that we're aware of. So let's go and have a look at Man U and Man City and see how well they did. If we start with Man City, because this is the team that we were meant to be doing the series based around, we can see the key player is still Lionel Messi. And if we have a look at the competitions of the senior squad, we can see that top scorer for Man City was Sergio Aguero with 14 goals, which to be honest for him is quite a modest scoring total and highest average rating is still Lionel Messi. In the Champions Cup they got knocked out in the first round by I think that Schalke. I really need to get the update for the German league. Top goal scorer was Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling and Messi. Highest average rating in that competition went to Messi as well with most assists to De Bruyne and Messi. So Messi is performing. In the English FA Cup they got knocked out by Watford in the sixth round and knocked out in the fourth round by Middlesbrough in the Capital One Cup. So again, 
Frank de Boer really hasn't done that well at the club and that is probably why he is no longer manager as you can see view the job advert if we can find that in the news Man City sack Frank de Boer de Boer's departure is thought to have been triggered by the club's poor league position third isn't that bad pundits in the media are already speculating that Diego Simone could be tempted to quit Atletico for the city of Manchester Stadium the others being linked to Laurent Blanc Luis Enrique and Paco Aesteran. Aesteran. I apologise if that was bad. So let's quickly have a look at Messi's stats for this season. We can see overall club record is 46 appearances, 18 goals, 15 assists, 1 penalty, 19 player of the matches with an 8.2 rating. So that's still great performances by him even though he's 31 years old. Unfortunately he cannot just drag Man City to a trophy. He just can't seem to manage it. I don't know if it's the managers or if it's the players around him. If we have a look at the squad and we're now actually going to look by appearances so we don't have that whole mess up of me looking at the tactics and looking at a weak side that was put out for game week 38. We can see Joe Hart played the most games with Kevin De Bruyne just behind. Kevin De Bruyne had 13 goals with a 7.71 rating. Messi then was the next highest appearances with 8.2 rating. They have managed to get Jordi Alba to sign for Man City as well but he is 30 years old now. Maybe that's where they're going wrong, they're buying a lot of old players. Otamendi, Sterling, Zabaleta, Aguero, all over 40 appearances. They've managed to get Arturio Vidal, Vincent Company is still there. Kingsley Coman has signed for them, with Yuri Tillemans there now, Granit Xhaka. Zerdan Shakiri is also part of the club, but now we're getting to people who only had 10 appearances or less. Let's have a quick look at Vidal. 32 years old again, getting a bit old, getting a bit on in there in the years. But Kingsley Coman could be a great signing for them though. He's only 22 in 2019. He looks very promising for them. Shakiri is only 27 years old. So again, someone who could maybe do something for them. And Yuri Tillemans, look at those stats. That's a pretty beast midfielder for this stage in his uh, development at 22 years of age. So we now look at Man United and Joachim Lowe is the manager, which means Pep Guardiola has been sacked. So this experiment has gone really well for the managers. Can we find the news story for Pep Guardiola? Okay, so I cannot find the news story regarding Pep Guardiola's decision to either leave or get sacked from Man United. But from the biography, it suggests to me that he decided to become the Spain manager, which is now his current job. So he's now become the Spanish manager. Probably the Spanish manager got sacked after their performance in the World Cup. And now Guardiola is their boss. Let's see how well he's been doing as manager of Spain. So far in this calendar year, he has gone undefeated with wins against Montenegro and Slovakia. But there is an international league semi-final game, which I'm assuming is some sort of friendly cup against England coming up, which should be interesting. And then they have the European Championship qualifiers to carry on playing with. So Guardiola is now no longer a manager in England. He spent literally a couple of years at Man City and Man United and then moved on. Now that means we could not look at Man United but just for the purpose of this video before we go on another year I will have a look at what Man United managed to achieve this season. So with Joachim Lowe at the helm they only got fourth but they are in the Champions Cup final again. So they could go back to back with Champions Cup winning performances. So that would be pretty impressive for Man United, despite the fact they've changed manager. In the English FA Cup and the Capital One Cup, they got knocked out early. Malcolm has been their top goal scorer with 17 goals. Malcolm looks pretty impressive for 22 years of age. And he looks like he's a star player at the moment worth 40 million. Juan Mata has the highest average rating for them. And then in the Champions League, Malcolm has seven goals, so he's the highest scorer for them there. And Ander Herrera, five assists, so he's been doing well. So again, we're going to have to sim forward just a little bit and find out if Man United can win the European Champions Cup. Okay, so as we can see, the Champions Cup, European Champions Cup, has been won by Juventus. So unfortunately, Man United couldn't do it two years in a row. If we have a quick look at that match, we can see Man United lost by one goal. The winning goal came from Roberto Pereira, 
I've said that so wrong, I know. And the assist came from Luan, and to be honest, it was a pretty uninspiring performance from Manchester United. And because of that result, Manchester United sacked Joe Chim Low. So, managers just are really struggling to keep their jobs at the moment. The chairmen of these clubs are taking no prisoners. They, they expect success, and because all this success has been going to the London clubs, the managers in Manchester really are struggling to uh, keep their jobs for very long at all. Nothing like Sir Alex Ferguson's days. If we have a look at the news report for Joe Chim Lowe's sacking, okay, it doesn't really go into details about why he was sacked, but the pundits are speculating, of course, and the man they think could take the job is AC Milan manager Sincia Mihalovic, and a host of other top class managers being linked, like Brendan Rodgers, Paco Asterian, and Julian Loptugu. I probably said them so wrong as well, but. I don't know who these people are, so. So that's what happens one year later, 2019. We've got a couple more years to go through, but I'm gonna leave it there because this recording went on a little longer than I was expecting it to because of all the changes in management and so on and so forth. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're liking these experiments, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a comment in the descriptions as well about what you think about this experiment so far. Make sure to check out my series very similar series on FM Scout. There'll be a link in the description and probably an annotation if I can. I've been JNO, you've been awesome, and remember, it's all about the game.